On Fox tonight, Fort Bend County investigators say they have now uncovered a Precinct 3 deputy constable being dishonest, and now all the criminal cases he's worked on will be reviewed. The big question tonight is how many people could be in jail or in prison or facing trial because of this officer's alleged untruthfulness. He has resigned after he was told the DA's office would no longer allow him to testify in trials or file any criminal charges. It's the first time in my activist career that I've seen anyone, anyone, male or female, white or black, charged with a felony of assaulting a police officer and the charges are dismissed the very next day. According to this letter from the Fort Bend County DA's office, Reyes had a pattern of making untruthful statements in his reports. The letter goes on to say this office would no longer sponsor Deputy Reyes as a witness nor permit him to file affidavits of probable cause. DA's office tells me they will be reviewing every case Jordan Reyes was a part of during his three years as a Precinct 3 Deputy Constable. And if they're in jail, let's get them out of jail because they shouldn't be in jail because the cop lied on them. So you would think after hearing the terrible things we just heard about Officer Jared Reyes, that Fort Bend County would have put him on like a Brady list or you know, flagged him where he can no longer wear a badge and a uniform anywhere and terrorize the citizens of his community anymore, correct? Well, that's where you're wrong. Galveston Police Department looks for just this kind of troubled officer. They have a notorious reputation for hiring all the police officers from the Houston and surrounding areas that have been fired from those departments, and they bring them right on into Galveston Police Department with open arms. And my buddy Bruce, from Galveston Island Transparency was very unfortunate and happened to run into Officer Jared Reyes, who was being supervised by Lieutenant Doherty, who really is the main one to blame in this situation for these civil right violations and this unlawful arrest because he is the supervisor. He could have stopped this at any time, but he chose not to. But anyways, we're gonna discuss it with Galveston Island Transparency, my buddy Bruce, and we're going to look at the video of the body camera footage that he recently got from this arrest that took place nearly two years ago, which was immediately dismissed because it was just that much of a garbage arrest. But let's get into it. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is going to be a discussion with Galveston Island Transparency from Galveston, Texas, and we're going to be discussing the body camera footage that he recently got. It took forever for you to get that footage, didn't it, Bruce? Yeah, there was uh, some sort of an issue where the city attorney lost it for 100 days. Oh, yeah, they, yeah, they did that crap on purpose. So, but anyways, uh, so Bruce was, how long ago was this arrest, Bruce? It's been, a, so it's almost was, two years. Yeah, yeah, it's been a year and 11 months, so. Yeah, then that's why they took so long to give you the body camera footage because they're trying to get the statute of limitations to run out. And so now you're down to just a couple of weeks before you can file a lawsuit on this. And he just got the body camera footage. And um, even though he's told me about this garbage arrest numerous times, it doesn't put it it doesn't really sink in how bad it is until you see the video, man. It's just and then it's like, holy crap, man. I can't believe this happened. So with the, the old saying, a picture is worth a thousand words. It most definitely is. But, okay, here's the thing. He was uh, um, riding around in a golf cart in Galveston. And from what Bruce told me and from the uh, report that I've read, um, Bruce, some little girls on a golf cart, some teenage girls, adolescent girls, almost hit him. So Bruce goes asks the girls, where do they live? I want to go talk to your parents, like adults. The girls told them the address. Bruce went over there to talk to the adults. He didn't have anything to do with these minor children at all. Well, guess what? Bruce's luck, the parent is a police officer, okay? And he immediately defended his daughters. Oh, they didn't do anything wrong. Make a long story short, this cop called the cops on Bruce and had him arrested that night, okay? So, Bruce goes to jail, gets out of jail the next day. He lives on that street where, where this incident occurred. The next day, Bruce is riding his golf cart down the street 
recording everything as he's going by, just like a dash camera would, or just like Google Maps goes down the streets, records everything. This officer calls the cops again, and the cops show up and brutally rip Bruce off of the golf cart. It's unbelievable and there's no doubt in my mind that the reason that these two arrests were made for no crime was just this is the blue line thing this guy was a cop he was a, a cop out of houston texas a detective what was his name bruce michael corso or casso michael michael casso yeah and, uh, so yeah he's a homicide detective out of houston texas yeah so these Galveston cops, they were like, oh, you're a homicide cop out of Houston. So they immediately licked this Houston detective's boots and just bowed down to him. And Bruce was on the uh, brutal end of this blue line brotherhood sticking together. Um, you know, we called the law on him. And, you're, you know, when, when these blue line people, when these cops and blue line lovers, when they pick up the phone and call wine one one and point the finger at somebody, that person's going to jail. That's what the blue line's all about. So let's watch the video. Do you want to add anything to that, Bruce, before we watch the video? Um, they arrested me and my dog. So And his dog. I, I'd been out of jail now for like four. I've been home for four or five hours. I had to walk from the jail to the pound to pick up my dog. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to get on the beach, man. <laughs> so he got arrested twice within 24 hours for being on the same road that this cop lives on just for showing up over there and saying, Hey man, your daughters, I thought, you know, I'm being, a, doing the adult thing, the neighborly thing. I'm not going to call the cops on them because they're driving recklessly. I just wanted to come and talk to you and let, you guys know that they almost hit me on these golf carts. And, of course, we all know the childish and the ego that these cops have that they can do no wrong. And how dare you talk badly about our daughters. And so arrested. There's no video of the first arrest, is there, Bruce? I was taking video, but when I got my camera back, the yeah. SD card was a brand new SD card. It wasn't the SD card that was in. And you guys are going to see in the video that we're fixing to play that one of the police officers actually goes into Bruce's phone and is doing this, like, focused on his phone and just erasing everything. You're, you're going to see that right now. Let's play that video before. He's, uh, the, he's the arresting officer from the night before. So The same officer from the night before. What was his name again? Reyes. Yeah, they're pulling up. All right, he's opening out. the door. So these aren't time. There's Bruce on his golf cart. And just immediately, no investigation. They're just grabbing him. Why are you Step off the golf cart? What are you guys doing this? You're going to do, do, do this again? What are you guys on, doing man. this for? Do uh, what I'm not Stop. harassing anybody. What are you guys Don't do doing? Here. Don't do this here. I, I'm, you, I stumbled right there when you pushed me. Don't be like that. I'm just making sure you're not going to fall forward, dude, and putting you against your little. And they showed up and arrested you for stalking. Do I have that yeah. right, Bruce? Yeah, I'm actually, I live two streets over, but yeah, like the, the main store and the post office box and everything is on the street that he's renting, so it's hard to go around it. It's the main street. All right, let's keep watching. And I actually am kind of up going around it where I'm parked, but whatever. You got a preference on a record? Uh -oh. What are you, I didn't harass anybody. Where is your proof of harassment? Hey, guys, knives, hand grenades, anything like that? No purpose on record? Huh? <clears throat> hey, get off my phone. Not on your phone. I'm holding your phone. There's a license plate in this thing. Convenient how it staggers right there. You can see him in my phone. Hey, 
Oh, there it is. City of Gallus. Go for it, Ken Mason. Did he mute his body camera? He muted his body camera, and then he's about to turn it off because he's about ready to get into my phone for real. Oh, yeah. But, like, you know what I mean? Like, he just erased the video that I was taking there, but now he's going to get through and yeah. start going through my videos. So he shuts it off here in a second. Were you arresting me? Yes, sir. What for? Harassment. They turned that into felony stalking. How did I harass you? Driving by videotaping them. Step in the car. Step in the truck. License, please. You heard what he said? You asked him, how did I harass them? And Sergeant Doherty said, by driving by and videotaping them. In the you know truck. Videotaping from my golf cart? He's don't do your phone. Yeah, he's he's grabbing the numbers off the tag and going through my phone, kind of doing some multi-tag. Nineteen eighty-eight Wiesel. We have one in custody. I'm gonna need next out police pickup for a golf cart at uh, Zachary and Mason. There he is. You can hear in the audio. He says I'm stopping. Yeah, he's just sitting there cruising right through that phone, finding anything he can. That the most or something. He kidnapped you and then stole your customer's golf cart, which hurt your business, correct? Yep. Not a happy customer. Yeah. Not a happy yeah. customer. Call them up and tell them that, man. But, you know, call them up and tell them that, you know, the cops took their golf cart. Here is the footage of Bruce riding down this public street of a neighborhood that he lives in on his golf cart and recording video and audio with his cell phone, which a Houston police detective thinks is a crime and calls the Galveston police Sergeant Doherty and Officer Reyes and they immediately arrested Bruce for this terrible crime that you are seeing on the video right now. It's absolutely ridiculous. Everybody redress your grievances. All the links will be in the description. I'll see y'all later.